Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Stub Masters Reviews and Tam here to review the new action thriller Ghost in the Shell. Now, Ghost in the Shell stars Scarlett Johansson and it's basically about a girl who is mortally injured in a terrorist attack and then her brain is put into a cybernetic body and then her uh, new consciousness and body is known as the Major and that Major is then sent over to Section 9 which is basically the futuristic SWAT team of uh, this film universe and then she goes down to hunt terrorists. And then things start getting really interesting and uh, bad things from her past start showing up when she is assigned to track down the terrorists known as Kuze. Now I was really looking forward to Ghost in the Shell. I really was interested in the source material and the original classic 1995 Ghost in the Shell anime film. And I didn't see that film, however I would saw some clips and I've always really wanted to watch it and I looked into some of the lore just to kind of get where this movie was coming from. And I have to say, I really enjoyed Ghost in the Shell. It was visually brilliant, the acting was pretty solid, and the action was great, and the story was a little bit more thought-provoking than I thought it was going to be. So let's jump right into the acting. Scarlett Johansson was excellent in this film, as usually she is. She kind of gives a very subtle performance. A lot of uh, her acting in the movie just comes from her analyzing things and her facial expression. She doesn't necessarily say a lot, but when she does say things, it's very important. Also, all the supporting cast in this movie are really good. We have the major, we have the main uh, kind of warden or uh, SWAT team commissioner of the future, and that guy is actually the actor who played the main character of the 2003 original Old Boy. It was really cool to see that guy in action. He's awesome. Love that actor. Also, uh, the guy who plays Bato in this movie is awesome. He's a really cool character in uh, comics from what I've seen, and then from uh, in the movie he's portrayed really well. Love that guy, he was great. A lot of comedic relief from him. We're just really glad that they got that part right. Also, this movie has a really thought-provoking story. Uh, I really didn't know much about Ghost in the Shell from a plot point of view, from the original Japanese anime, so when I came into it, I was completely fresh, I had no idea what was going to happen. And it was a really interesting plot. I was really surprised the film took me in places that I wasn't expecting, or things I didn't call. I guess one flaw that we'll go and say is that about three-fourths of the movie, once you figure out a general gist of what's going on, you can pretty much predict how it unfolds, and it unfolds exactly that way. But other than that, the movie was really mysterious. Also, the action scenes in this movie are shot really well. I was really surprised how some of uh, the action was shot. It's very in-your-face, it's visually appealing, it's well edited and it blends the visual CG stuff very well with all the practical effects going down. It just kind of immerse you into this world and it makes you feel like you're living out that anime action that you always thought was, that looked really cool in uh, the comics. Guys, even though I liked a lot of Ghost in the Shell, there were a few things that I thought were a little bit off. I will go and say that some of the writing was a little bit clunky at times, not necessarily the way the plot was structured, but in terms of the dialogue, it just felt a little bit off, and like I said, through the first three quarters of this movie, it's really mysterious, you don't really know what's going on, but then the last uh, act is kind of predictable, and I was expecting a little bit, I guess, a little bit more of a payoff, um, because the film was leading up to something I thought might have been a little bit better. That being said, the finale certainly wasn't disappointing, I just thought maybe it could have just gotten a little bit better. So guys, all in all, I really enjoyed Ghost in the Shell. It was a really fun ride. It did have a little bit of pacing issues here and there, but for the most part it was a very mysterious and thought-provoking thriller, and I really enjoyed all the characters. I found myself very invested in this movie, which is beautifully shot and had stunning visuals. I uh, had a lot of fun with this one, guys. I can't really give a rating in comparison with the 1995 classic. I didn't see that, and this is just coming from me uh, just someone who's never seen any of the other Ghost in the Shell movies or anything. So coming from that standpoint, I'm going to give this movie a 3.5 out of 5 stars. So guys, how did you like the review? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Please make sure to let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our awesome channel if you haven't already done so. You can also buy our merch at cafepress.com forward slash stubmasters and uh, follow us on Twitter. Alright guys, 
I'm Jonathan from Submasters Reviews. Have an excellent evening.